Hayhaman Tagalog pronunciation, DDMN, is a popular culture phenomenon in the Philippines. According to Urban Dictionary, a Hayhaman is a person who has managed to subvert the English language to the point of incomprehensibility. The Philippine Daily Enquirer describes Hayhamans as a new breed of hipster who have developed not only their own language and written text but also their own subculture and fashion. Topic. Origins Topic. The origins of short-handed typing was through the short messaging service, in which each text message sent by a cell phone is limited to 160 characters, evident in popular phone models in the early 2000s such as Nokia 5110. As a result, an SMS language developed in which words were shortened in order to fit the 160 character limit. However, some Hayhamans are not really conserving characters, instead, they are lengthening their message. On April 14, 2010, on a Pinoy Tumblr, a post about vice presidential candidate Jejomar Binay indicated that he was the Hayhaman's preferred vice presidential candidate, complete with a fake poster with him called as Maki Autors. Later the use of word Hayhaman to refer to such people made rounds in various Filipino internet message boards. The word Hayhaman is a portmanteau of the Japanese animated series, Pokémon, and hihi is an expression of laughter. Such short-handed language is not limited to Filipinos, they use 5555 to denote ha 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 ha, since the number 5 in Thai language is pronounced as ha. Topic. Demographics Topic. The Hayhamans are said to be the new Jologs, a term used for Filipinos of the lower income class. The parameters of being classified as a Hayhaman are still unclear, and how the different levels of Hayhamanism are reached, although there are named levels such as mild, moderate, and severe, or terminal. Topic. Language Topic. The sociolect of the Hayhamans, called Gijinesi, is derived from English, Filipino and their code-switched variant, Taglish. It has its own, albeit unofficial, orthography, known as Jejibet, which uses the Filipino variant of the Roman alphabet, Arabic numerals and other special characters. Words are created by rearranging letters in a word, alternating capitalization, over usage of the letters H, X or Z superfluous as well as the presence of silent letters characterize its spelling convention. It has similarities with leet-speak, primarily the alphanumeric nature of its writing. Topic. Perceived usefulness Topic. IT and information security experts have found a certain usefulness of ggtyping in the creation of strong passwords for user logins. Topic. Reaction Topic. Several Facebook fan pages were created both in support and against the group. Celebrities such as Alessandra de Rossi, C. E. S. Drilon, and Lord de Vera have condemned the wholesale ridicule of the subculture. Due to the sudden existence of Hayhamans, Gigibusters were created, a group of Internet grammar vigilantes, typically Filipinos, dedicating their Internet lives towards the eradication of Gigi-typing and Hayhaman existence. YouTube videos were also uploaded parodying the Hayhamans, connecting them to the 2010 election campaign. Edited television advertisements of Nationalista Party proclaiming their disdain, and an edited photograph of Gilberto Teodoro with him holding a sign saying that the Hayhamans should be brought back to elementary school, went viral. In 2010, the Filipino GMA network broadcast the situational comedy Hayhamam, headlined by Eugene Domingo. As part of the pre-school year cleanup of schools for the upcoming 2010-11 school year, the Department of Education DEPT strongly discourages students from using Hayhaman spelling and grammar, especially in text messaging. Communicating with others using Hayhaman language is said to cause deterioration of young Filipino students' language skills. Topic. Decline and a change of definition Topic. 
From early 2013 onwards, with the rise of smartphones which began to overtake feature phones in terms of sales in the country, the phenomenon seems to have made a gradual decline in mainstream popularity. Some social media accounts use such spellings to this date, but most of them are used for sarcasm particularly by the term Heyhaman would gradually shift definition to a pejorative term to describe a stereotype of poorly educated young people wearing hip-hop clothing, roughly similar to the British slang term chav for sportswear. As of 2017, the Heyhaman are also called hype beasts and are recognizable for wearing counterfeit skateboarding or car culture related brands. Topic. References Topic. <laughs>